Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, it's a Budding Borders card and it's using the Stamparatus, but I'm addicted to the in colour ribbon. Love it. So this is Rococo Rose with a little bit of Blushing Bride going on in there. This time around I'm doing Seaside Spray with Call Me Clover. So I cut my piece of cardstock in half and scored it in half. My green panel is two centimetres shorter and narrower, and this one is three centimetres shorter and narrower. So if you're doing it in metric, you'd go maybe three quarters of an inch uh, shorter and narrower for this one, and then a full inch for that one. Okay, so I have got my stamp rated over here, and the budding borders, and I've already got it on. And I'm going to get my piece of cardstock line it up in there so all you do is you literally pick it up and you put it where you want it to stamp so I'm gonna go with there pick it up and now what I will do with my seaside spray and you need to have your um, stamparators on the right hand side or on the side where you can hinge step down so there's one and you lift it up and move it down one and keep the cardstock in place and there you go and then you move it down at another one And then a fourth time down again. There we go. So that's that done. I'm actually simply going to flip it over um, for speed purposes because I don't want to pull it all off to get it cleaned up. And what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go for the leaves and I'm looking for this little border and they go in one direction round the flowers but I can never remember which direction it is. Is that the right way? It is. There we go. That was a good first guess. So I'm lining it up with the flowers. You come over and pick it up. Actually, I don't think I want to do Call Me Clover because that's quite dark. Hmm. Bear with me a second. Funny noises in my house. So I've picked this up here. I'm going to go with soft sea foam for the green because I don't want it to be dark and overpowering. And we're going to repeat exactly the same as before. So down. Lift it up and see, look, they're perfectly lined up. Can you see that? Oh, love it. Love my stamparators. And just keep repeating down. And you just lift up and move and lift up and move. done so that is now done that's my stamparatus has done that and it's perfectly lined up all the way up and down and i will clean those up later we have a simply chamois something or other I can't remember what it's called that you clean it up with but um i don't know where mine is so and i'm coming with beautiful friendship i i didn't know which one to go with and actually it's on the same page in the catalogue as this so i thought well you know that makes sense, we'll do that. And I'm going with a label punch. I want to say that this is called a pretty label punch. I don't remember. One of those on there, and then I'm going to take my ribbon. 
and get a twist of about that sort of length. Smother this in snail. Onto the middle there, so that's well stuck down. Uh, dimensionals. And I'll start layering it up. How's that gone through that side? Hmm, okay. into the middle there and then take the backing off those, pop that on and then I'm going to finish with two um, flowers from the four petal punch. Get a spongy mat and you just push really firmly in the middle and it makes them curl up like that. the faceted dots that are in the same in colours and I'm going to take the biggest ones in seaside spray into the middle of each one there That is a rather lovely card. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.